In the late 1920s, Sam Insull, owner of the Chicago South Shore and South Bend Railroad, NIPSCO, ComEd, the North Shore Line, and a number of other companies made a major investment in this railroad. His big idea, bring people from Chicago out to beautiful Northwest Indiana. It was the original transit-oriented development and helped populate our region. We are on the cusp of phase two of a gigantic TOD today. And so you are all here and you are witnessing that. And yes, this is not a traditional groundbreaking ceremony. Our main construction partner, the Walsh Herzog team, has been out along the railroad with hundreds and hundreds of construction workers since March 1st. And as you can see, we're making great progress and are on schedule to open up in 2024. Today, let me just say this, today has been a long time coming and it is finally here and I would encourage you to get your get your camera out and take a picture of that backdrop because it's not going to look the same here soon. This is truly a Hoosier moment in history like few others and I think I'm going to I'm going to repeat what my the three predecessors who had the microphone have stressed and that's teamwork and everybody that's come together and not, not just teamwork at the local and the state and the federal levels, but that continuity. There were many times when the baton was passed to the next guy, the next guy, the next guy. This has been in the makings for decades. I asked our friend Pete Vesklosky when he started talking about us. I thought it was in the 80s. He said 1988. Right, so this has been coming for a long time. But this is not talk any longer. We are building. This is not rhetoric. This is results. And it's the good kind of results that happen when people do come together. What a great day it is for Northwest Indiana. I am so happy to be here. It feels a little bit like uh, we are at the tail end of a 99-yard touchdown drive. Um, I know that so many people have, have worked hard every step of the way, uh, three yards and a cloud of dust to make this day possible, and um, uh, so many of you are, are here today who, who've worked tirelessly, uh, business leaders, residents, government leaders, not-for-profit leaders, and, and uh, first-class cheerleaders even, and uh, I just want to thank everyone. Um, state government, local government, uh, our, our federal government, working with regional leaders and, and business leaders to pull together the resources and the wherewithal, but perhaps most importantly, to cast a vision. Cast a vision that uh, harnessing the, the creativity and the work ethic of our people and, and figuring out how to best position this region's beautiful natural beauty and, and uh, many existing assets, uh, we can take things uh, to the next level of excellence uh, for the next generation and beyond. Uh, Thank <laughs> you. 